Greetings everyone, Fabian Klaus here from the Ghana Revenue Authority. So today I'll be discussing a few important topics with you. Those topics are income and property taxes, cooperation and capital gains taxes. Let's talk. If you're importing a motor vehicle and you need to know what duties and taxes to pay, then these are the recent tax measures that apply to different categories of motor vehicles. Motor vehicles under 1500 cc and 4 years old and over attract a flat excise tax rate of $800,000. The rate of customs duty on motor vehicles under 4 years old with an engine capacity less than 1500 cc has been reduced from 45% to 35%. Wow. And there is no value-added tax on all electric motor vehicles under four years old. These measures took effect from February 6, 2023. For more information, contact GRA's Tax Advisory Services section, 227-6060, extension 8000. Mark your calendars for April 30. That's the due date for income and property taxes, cooperation and capital gains taxes. You see, we want to make sure that you're well prepared this tax season. That's why we're giving you an early heads up about the types of returns and taxes due. We believe that it's important for you to stay informed and comply with your tax obligations. So, April 30 is the due date for the filing of individual income tax returns. That's one of the returns required. Section 60 of the Income Tax Act, Chapter 8101, requires everyone earning income in Guyana to deliver to the Commissioner General a true and correct return of the whole of their income from every source whatsoever for the year immediately preceding the year of assessment. And if absent from Guyana, shall give the name and address of an agent residing therein. And this return is due on or before the prescribed date in every year. So let's break that down a bit further, shall we? Every person is defined in the Act as an individual whose income is not less than the income tax threshold or a body of persons which was registered or carried on business in Guyana. These individuals are required to deliver to the Commissioner General a true and correct return of the whole of their income from every source whatsoever. This means that you have to declare income earned from the public treasury, like salaries from the public service jobs or from other sources, such as private companies, partnerships, or if you're running your own business. It all counts as income. The law requires you to deliver to the Commissioner General a true and correct return of the whole of your income from every source whatsoever for the year immediately preceding the year of assessment. The year of assessment is the current year, folks, in our case 2024, and the year immediately preceding, well, that's the year of income, or the year in which the income was earned in 2023, in our scenario. Therefore, this year you need to file a tax return reporting the income that you earned and the taxes deducted last year or previous years, and you have up to April 30th of this year to comply. There's something crucial to keep in mind, though. When you're reporting income earned and taxes deducted from previous years, you'll need to apply the income tax threshold relevant to that year, not the current year when you're ascertaining your chargeable income. It's all about using the right figures for accuracy. And in case you forgot, the income tax threshold for the year of income 2023 was $1,020,000 or $85,000 monthly. Make sure you complete the income tax return forms accurately and don't forget to attach the necessary supporting documents. So if you're an employee, remember to include the 7B slip. And if you're self-employed, don't forget your profit and loss or income and expenditure statements. On that note, employers, please ensure that those 7B slips are issued to those employees early. And sign up for e-services to submit your returns online. It's fast and easy. April 3rd is just around the corner and that means it's time to take care of your tax responsibilities. Whether it's income, property, capital gains, or cooperation tax returns, mark the date on your calendar because it's very crucial. And you can now make your tax filings easier than ever before by signing up for e-services. Say goodbye to the hassle of paper forms and waiting in long lines. With just the click of a button, you can submit all your returns online from the comfort of your home or office. 
Visit our website for more information or you can check out our social media platforms to learn more.